and the brakes. It's it's all there. Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia cars. And the car I have today behind me is Kia Niro EV. It has the EV mark right here with the blue plate here in Korea, charging port in the front. And this essentially looks almost identical on the outside when it comes to Nero compared to that of the HEV version. And as for the exterior review, so go check the video out here because it's essentially the same. However, I want to focus on the drive today. Kia calls it air curtain. If you're curious if this is functional at all, I tested it out myself in the video right here. So go check that video out as well. So without further ado, let's just get to it. Before anything, check out this interior. I absolutely love bright interiors, but I gotta give a plus to this Nero EV. This just goes beautiful all together. I mean, just look at this white interior. The white tone, bright tone is continued all throughout, including the ceiling and the second row. As for the detailed interior review, there's a video right up here as well. So let's go for a drive. And coming inside this Nero EV, the interior doesn't look different at all compared to that of the HEV. I mean, if I were to really, really pinpoint out the differences, obviously it will be the EV right here engraved and it's got the power button instead of uh, ignition on off. It's a nice touch. And by the way, come close. Take a look at this upcycled and recycled materials all throughout the interior using the some plastic material they've done an amazing job with it it doesn't look all that cheap but this being a plastic i mean plastic is a plastic however the durability and the way it's been laid out is great and just look at this interior i absolutely love this portion that is something that i actually pointed out on my hev drives as well but it just goes so beautiful with this interior color and just one more thing this has the dual pressed double pane window so it has great noise cancellation as you can see so let me roll it down once more you hear all the fans and vents running no, you don't. This steering wheel is exactly the same that of the Gia EV6. Same for the drive mode button, even the layout. And so here, paddle shifters that you can control the region brake levels here, left and right. And this comes with, look at that i-pedal this comes with the i-pedal it's just a great thing to have there are a lot of competitors out in the current market just because of the market being is shifting rapidly towards the evs however i really strongly believe that nero has got its strength over other competitors the hda two it is the most advanced hda just out yet comes with the eye pedal the region brakes the upgraded motors and the smart ecs's the way it handles and drives and of course the most important thing would be the driving range so currently it's at about half the charge as we can see currently so it's not pushing out but when fully charged it marks over 400 kilometers of the driving distance possible as for this nero ev the motor pushes out the exact same amount of horsepower compared to the predecessor but the gear ratio has been changed so that it's pushing out better torque over a wider band of rpm the rpm usage has been limited to 8000 on the predecessor however this current version goes all the way up to 9000 and the i pedal is just a beautiful thing to have on these um city roads it really takes away a lot of burdens and the stress of driving around the city roads other than the blue plate that it's saying that it's an EV and some of the skid plates underneath that has been two-toned, I can't really tell the much of the difference from that of the HEVs. Hope to see this um, continue down the legacy so that this becomes the identity of Nero. And this Nero EV being, it only comes in 17 inch wheels and tires. It has a Gumho tires and this is exclusively EV tire. As we can see, it's Solus TA30. 31 EV with the tire spec of 215 55 17. 
thick sidewall. So I personally prefer having bigger profile, which is the 55% that we saw on this tire. That's because it has more room for the tire to absorb the shocks and nose coming from the road into the cabin and into towards the driver. Thinner profile, it delivers much more faster response towards the steering wheel and the feedback when it comes to the driving. But we know that this Nero EV is not just for about the funds, but having a pleasant driving experience within and inside the car, getting point A to B. Again, let's get back to the drive. All right acceleration again and the brakes it's it's all there utilizing the motor the region brake helping out not only with recharging the battery but also you see it helps with the brakes as well and ever since i got to know i pedal i've been a big fan like on my city drives i always have that on and just absolutely love it and the drive mode it comes with the normal oh it has sport mode and echo and hold for snow mode as well um so there are more drive modes here on nero ev compared to that of the hev i can definitely feel that the battery is sitting at the bottom of this or on top of this um, chassis nero ev does not use egmp which is electric global modular platform which is exclusively built chassis for ev and evs only ionic 5 ev6 gv60 obviously all built from EGMP that I'm naming right now so you might think that could be a downside for this Nero EV but the reason why I went over and over about this is because I personally am blown away by how roomy it is in the inside of this Nero EV it definitely feels right in between that of the big size SUV and a sedan that which this Nero exactly is but you know roomy and practical inside great line of sight and visibility you can see that this is 5.7 kilometer per kilowatt hour if i get the chance to test drive this for a long distance you know i would definitely get get better mileage than this and with a full charge given the smaller battery that this has over ev6 nero travels over 400 kilometers i had a very limited time driving this car around but i just wanted to fill it myself so definitely feels like an ev well Oh, this is an EV has the power like so it can pick up the speed just the way this uh, Nero EV handles it's absolutely stunning and amazing all right so if you enjoyed uh, today's video don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did and I will see you in the next video